Good evening. Welcome to Music Scrap, the musical scrapper. Going to do some jelly plating tonight. So, anyway. Hi, Deb. Deb Crafty just came into the room. Oh, hold on. Before I go any further, I need some. Um, where is my, hold on, phone book. <clears throat> Or roll off pages. Okay. Sometimes I keep them, sometimes I don't, sometimes I get really messed up. <clears throat> okay. Alright. jelly plate. Let me just, gotta move this over a little. Okay, but two bone folders now. Couldn't find any the other day. Now I've got two. <sighs> Alright. Sorry, just a second. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, so let's see. I want to make sure we can see the whole jelly plate here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Terry Bradshaw, he was a football player in Canada. <laughs> or, anyway. Okay. So, they're talking about Terry Bradshaw, who is a cameo, a silhouette, uh, cameo, does classes and things like that. All right. Okay, how come this is in my way today? Shouldn't be in my way. Okay. All right. Ready. So, I've got my paper over here. I've got cardstock. I've got copy paper. I've got some deli paper there. Yeah, sure, Dee Dee. Sure, sure. Anyway, I think I need a sup of coffee. Just a moment. Okay. So what color shall I start with? I'm going to start with the background. Let's do yellow. And green. And yeah, there we go. Yellow, green, and okay. So I've got Laguna by Apple Barrel. Apple Barrel. <laughs> Is it Apple Barrel? Yes, it is Apple Barrel. Which is also a restaurant, that's why I thought it was confused. And Craft Smart uh, Bright Yellow. And Craft Smart something. Apple something. I don't know, I can't read it because it's white on the green. It's too light. Carrie might still be at work because I think she was working today. So she could still be working. It's all, she better get here because I switched my lesson plan just for her. Well, not just for her. <laughs> for me too. I haven't jelly played it in a little while. so Okay. Let's 
since last week. A whole week. Hold on. I don't want that there because I want to make a... There we go. Oh, I should have done a different order. Oh, well. It's all right. Okay, I want to get my extra thingies a little close. There we go. All righty, here we go. Oh, for goodness sakes. Excuse me for a second, just in case. Let me look at the number. No, I'm not answering it. They're going to hide their name. I'm not answering. Okay, so. All right. Don't want to buy anything, so I'm not answering the phone. And I rolled off because I want to keep some of each color. And I put way too much paint on as per usual. I want to keep some of each color before I blend them. So, <clears throat> okay, good. layer so a piece of this fun foam already purchased textured alright and I'll just leave that there I'm gonna get a piece of deli paper ready for ghost printing here. Okay, get it ready to pull out. I have it on my desk so I can kind of pull it out of the box. Okay, so there, there goes that. So you can see that cool texture. So that's my background. <clears throat> and I forgot to do something. I meant to put this on the back of it before it dried, so let me uh, I don't know, because I use some of this paper some of the telephone book paper. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So that's going to be my pull off. that's drawing before I let's do um, oh I was gonna do second pulls on envelopes but I forgot so remind me next time I'm gonna do my second pull on envelope so let's put these back I'm gonna get a couple going and then I'll go back and do secondary layers so let's do an orange and 
Don't do anything too dark. You know what I want to do? I'm going to try this. So I'm going to, this is close to my heart, pearlizing. Um, so I want to try it with just one color, see what happens. So let's just do an orange background. I'm just going to pull out a couple of uh, envelopes there. So they're right beside me and I don't forget. Okay, so let's do a little bit of this. And... Add a little bit of this pearlized stuff. And I'm going to turn this over. Okay. Let's see how it changes it up. Because this is just a regular flat acrylic so we'll see if it shimmers any better now this brayer I should have washed the brayer because it's dirty so it's not uh, doing a very good job of brayering here Do this one okay so this is the zigzag and let's do an envelope and I'll use a piece of let's use this deli paper because that'll go out around I kind of lay it like this. Okay. going to want to do a tiny bit more. I'm going to want to put a little orange on this side. For the other side of the envelope. Okay, so that took off a little bit of the wet paint on the other side, but that's okay. Everybody got a little quiet. Man, it's some humid here today. Whew. I didn't check, but it's got to be 80% humidity. <sighs> Not right. I mean, it's warm, but it's the humidity is just incredible. Okay, so. All right. 
So now this one is ready for a second layer and I'll do the same second layer. Um, let's do a quick, let's do a quick pull. This is my new paint. So let's see how well it works here. I might not have needed that much. We'll see. No, no, no. That looks about pretty, that looks pretty good. That's a cleanup layer. You can use any color for the cleanup layer. I could have used red or anything that I wanted there. And I have no space to put my papers. Excuse me, grabbing a potato chip. Yeah, we're supposed to get that tonight, uh, Susan. I'm going to do my pull off on ivory copy paper. We're supposed to get that overnight, and I believe it with the humidity that we have today. Oh, I believe it. But they got a good start on my cousin's uh, roof today, so it rained first thing this morning, so it didn't there get there until 8 when it stopped raining. So, hey, Army Linda, nice to see you. Uh oh, I may have to make I Eileen get booted in his back, so I may have to. Yeah, I have to give her a blue shirt again. I'm going to have to add her to my list so that she'll come in automatically. And Sherry's not here today. She might be laying down after her. Oh, now that didn't work as good as it usually does on cardstock. So I may have to. It worked a little bit. I got a little bit there. But I think I might be able to get a little more. Can get more with a piece of curd stuff or not. <clears throat> Don't know. I saw that, Eileen. I saw you coming back in, actually. picked up some black that was still on there from last time. I gave you a blue shirt again, Eileen. Alright, so actually I think I'm printing on the opposite side from what I did. Oh no, I don't think so. Anyway, whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's get her back in here. Okay, so now I'm going to do a layer where I'm going to use stencils or masks, depending. So let's use... Uh, let's use a mask. So let's add... Let's use this one for one of them. And let's use... Where's my other mask? I'm going to use this on a cleanup. So I think I'll use some of these. All right. <clears throat> All right. So on top of this one, I am actually going to use my orange yellow PBO Donna color. <laughs> Eileen, 
I wonder if I can go in and change settings while I'm streaming. I probably can't. Okay. No, you. Oh, you still have your blue shirt. Okay. So I'm going to use my orange. Oh, for goodness sakes. Oops, got a big glob there. I don't know how I ended up with that much of a big glob. Wow. Too big. There we go. Wow. All right. Here we go. Hold on. i got to turn on my light. It's getting a little dark in here. Don't know if it changes it for you guys, but it makes it a lot better for me. Oh, this goes on so much nicer than those craft paints. I always use too much craft paint. All right, so I'm going to put this on. And then I'm going to line this up here. So I'm going to try and make sure I get in between all those holes in that mask to get the detail. That's why I don't like doing this with a brayer. Because if I just go over with a brayer, it's not going to get my paper down in between all those little holes in this mask. All right, here we go. There. Ta-da! So there's one layer. Isn't that cool? Now, I'm going to take this one that has just, it's copy paper, and it was my first pull off, and it's still fairly wet. But I'm going to take it and do the rest of this because it's going to be left with a star here. And I can't do it on the other one because the other one's already orange. And I'm going to put this down this way. Thank you, Deb. So, this is one of the stencils that I did. Um, on one of my streams from my mom's house. Right. So that gives a little bit of a color there. Let's see what I get from here. There we go. I made these in a my marathon hangout. I forgot. Well, obviously I'm the one with the brain mush. 
Not you. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to do a pickup with this. And I'm going to do it on black. Because I love picking up my PBO paints on black. So I'm going to use black paint. Not much. It doesn't take much. <gasps> and that's not, that's too much. I think it looks, it's a little runnier than the, uh, uh, it's a little runnier than the white. Let's hope it's not too much. Yeah, it is. I'm going to have to run it off on there. So you want just a thin layer for these cleanup ones. But you want paint everywhere. Okay. All right. And my black. Just gonna let it get a teeny bit tacky. Oh, I know. Me too, Deb. <coughs> Yes, we do need to, uh, I've seen, I know she's been to a couple of classes and, um, I saw a couple of things on Facebook, you know, posts or whatever. I know she re went to create New Jersey. So we shall see. I have, I'll have to send her a tweet and see what she when her next stream is going to be. Well, I kind of have my white capris on. Oh, you're really smart, Jean. I have to remember not to put my hands down on my... Okay, it'll be a bit more. It's almost ready. There we go. This is going to be cool. And there she is. Sorry, it's... I'll just leave that so you guys can see it. You can see how it shimmers. The orange and the yellow. It looks almost gold when you put it on the black. Jean, we could give you a break to save the white. Huh? What do you mean, save what white? Save white what? I'm lost, Carol. I've lost your stream of thought there. Those of you who may be watching the recording either on Ustream or YouTube, this is a live stream, so there are people in chat that I am speaking to. Not only, I do talk to myself, but I'm also talking to people in chat. And I do not, I do not uh, edit my videos. Oh, save my white pants, eh. Don't worry about it. They're like five years old anyway. All right. So there we go. May, mostly I'm just like too lazy. <laughs> Carol. <clears throat> anyway. I'm going to leave that here because I may do another cleanup print on it. Okay. So now I need to add another layer to this. And usually the layers look better if you go to like a darker color. I'm actually going to use I'm going to use my PBO uh, red blue ah, 
There you go, Deb. Way to go. Way to go. All right, let's decide before I put my, um, oh, let's do this. I'm going to do this on the envelopes, I think. The small ones. Yeah. Hmm. Or should I do the large one? Let's see. What's the size? Ha. Huh. Yeah. I think I'll do I think I'll do this mask. <clears throat> oh, now it's all caught up. Hold on. Ish. This is why I like them in the page protectors because this doesn't happen. Uh. I'm going to do this. If I don't need the paint on the whole thing. I just need to make sure it's big enough to cover the envelope. Oh, shoot. I forgot. I want to clean off. I had to clean my brayer off on a baby wipe after I used black. Because it's very strong and it will infect my... Even if it's dry on my brayer, it tends to get reconstituted, it seems, and infect my next color. Oh, hey, hold on. And now I've got a layer of, hold on, acrylic paint coming off. For now, I'm going to have texture. Hold on. Don't dry paint. Whatever you do, PBO. Don't dry on there on, on me. Hold on. I'm just... Because I pressed too hard to get the black off, and so then I started actually peeling the layers off. So now I have to finish, because otherwise it'll leave strange streaks. Although that doesn't really matter. But I like to control my texture usually. <sighs> okay. Let's see what happens. There, you can see when I spread that out, you can see the red, you can see the blue. Yummy stuff. All right, where is my stencil? tonight. I hope it's because some people are working or doing whatever projects. Okay. There we go. Now I missed a, I'm just going to see if I can get any more. So I missed, I didn't have it far enough down there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the other side. Ah, 
<laughs> yes, Jeannie. So on this side, I have the reverse there. I actually have the stencil shape. Ah, oh, it's good, Carol. Carol said she's getting some stuff done and just listening. Which is fine. Now, I want to do one more layer on this. <clears throat> hmm, where do I want to? I don't know, I like that. I think I'll wait. I don't want to do that. I want to show how I use those star stencils. Okay, hold on. Let me see what other stencils I've got in here that I've made that I haven't used yet. Oh, I still have my, right, I still have my round ones. So, I still have my spheres to use. So, That one. Well, maybe I did use them all. Hmm. No. Huh. I didn't think I wasn't sure if I had or not. Oh no, I didn't use this one. I didn't use that one. Okay. Oh, I didn't use my map. Ooh, I gotta use the map one. I didn't use that one yet. Ooh, okay, I've got uh, quite a few I didn't use yet. All right, so let's just open my... <laughs> All right, let's use, I wanna use my map. Let me use my map, or no, that's not my map though. This is my map. Okay, so I'm going to start with Oh, I'm sorry, Carol's not just listening, she's enjoying. I apologize for not translating that correctly. Yeah, Deb, that would be, see, um, I think I'm going to make my, a glycerin one for that purpose. Because I know that um, Barbara Gray, um, Deb Crafty said she was going to get the smaller jelly plate, the six by six to bray her off on. Um, or even to put the paint on and brayer, use the brayer. Oh, darn it. Do not leave your brayer sitting upside down because the paper sticks to it. Just saying, especially when you use thin paper like this. Lay it upside down. Okay. Yeah, you can get the 5x7 too. So, all right. So, this is a map of, I have no idea what city. I just found the JPEG online, the line art JPEG online. So, I'm going to start with a background. So, I'm, oh, let's go to my favorite combo. 
my green yellow and my green blue. Sometimes it's blue green, sometimes it's green blue. But this time I'll use green blue. So let's do. I want to do a stripey this way. So let's do stripes this way. Probably too much paint, as per usual. <sighs> Got a little pink in there too because it wasn't dry on my brayer. Mm. Oh well, that's all right. I'm going to take the back of this one because I don't want to waste this yumminess. See how it changes color on the black? It's so yummy, 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 yummy. And do a little bit of a mix up here. Okay. And I'm not sure how. I got a lot of... Uh, yeah, I used way too much paint. Oh, well. It's all right. I ended up with another whole covered black sheet there. <laughs> yeah, twice as much paint as I needed. All right, so I'm going to just do some texture here. Um, Hold on. Where did my bubble wrap go? Oh, no, I don't know where my bubble wrap went. Oh. Okay. Not doing bubble wrap. Doing this. <laughs> flowers. Pretty flowers. It's a one of those rubber non-skid mats for in your cabinets, drawers or whatever. So your stuff doesn't slide around on it, but it has flower imprints on it. Okay, so there's that. And I need a nice piece of cardstock here. Yeah, especially since the one of the stores, uh, where was it that had it? Oh, Scrap and Great Deals. Sta sta uh, yeah, Scrap and Great Deals had it but on sale for 24 bucks the other day. I should have bought one. Yeah, Jean, boy, oh boy, did you ever make a mess of this? Ugh, paint is everywhere. <clears throat> I got some unwanted pink in there, but that's okay, I guess. Okay, let's get, let's just get this pulled off here if I can. Get as much pulled off as possible. I was just thinking, I think I need to clean my hands because they're really painty. There we go. Got a little bit more paint on that. That's going to be one of those pages that you have to just uh, Okay, so now I need to, I want to draw this because I want to get that map layer on it.
I tear for Dee Dee's hands, but for a different reason, Carol. Okay, bye, Dee Dee. Don't overcook that salad. So it's going to be the second pull off anyway, because the first pull will not be what I want on the set. All right, so now let me find my black, blue black here. <clears throat> so now I'm going to use my PBO blue black which is almost out but I've got some more ordered <sighs> they had a sale this weekend at Desairs they had this 100 mil tube of PBO for 347 yes Ugh. So I got some. I'm low on my metallics. So I ordered my metallics and my blue black because I was low on that. I think, I hope I ordered the blue black. Yes, I'm pretty sure I ordered blue black. I hope I did. <sighs> if I didn't, I'll be very sad. Okay, hold on. Get a little bit clean here. Okay. So, blue black. My heat gun out of my way. Oh, see me go coming in there. gosh I'm even worse than usual tonight as far as over usage of paint okay so I'm going to sit on my map here and it's a little crooked oh well okay and I'm going to get a piece of paper for that Because that's not the layer I want on my, I want the actual roads to be the black. Hi Nico. Yeah. Okay. I called Miko out before she said hi to us, so I hope she intended on talking. <laughs> yes, I saw her come in. Just making sure, yeah, I'm still recording. Kind of interesting here. So there's the first poll. And we knew what you meant. When you were growing up, your dad always answered the phone with yellow. See, I can translate that. Okay, so now this. Oh, I'm going to do a little more pickup because I don't want, I want as little left in that stencil as possible. So I'm going to do a little more pickup from this way. Because what's under my stencil is still going to stay wet. Put 
because I want to get what's between the mostly picked up. The open spots. Okay. So. <sighs> Alright, so now I'm going to pick this up. And so now it's going to give me my lines in black on this, which is what I want. Oh, 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 There's still a little bit of wet spot there. that other piece. I'll just put this over top so I can Okay, and the big reveal, there we go. So that gives me the map there. All right. So now I'm going to do um, another, hmm, I don't know, I kind of like that, I might need that. All right, I want to do another layer on this. <clears throat> so I am actually going to use this. All right, um, and I think, yeah, so I think this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to have that laying down and I'm going to add my blue, my blue, uh, add my blue green over top. Of the stencil. And get it down in between all those holes. Okay, now this is going to give me a nice, I think I'll go both ways to make sure. Okay, I don't know why my copper embossing powder is hanging out here. I don't know why at all. So, you lift this up. I'm actually going to wipe this away. I guess I don't have to, but I'm going to. I didn't get it all there. Okay, I'm going to put this down like this. this on the back. Ah! I put it upside down. So now I've got it like, oosh. Ah. Thank 
you guys. Alright, so... Comes the big reveal on this one. I'm going to do a pickup with this. I'm just going to let it dry for a second because I don't want to smudge it. But I'm going to do a pickup on black and I'm going to put it on top of my other black one. Yeesh. Hold on. <clears throat> Which has all curled up because I hit, did both sides of it. But that's okay. Ugh. So, did you guys see that one? There we go. No, Miko, this is my design. These globes are my, were my design. They're not Silhouette's design. This is my design. This is one of my original designs. Okay, so I'm going to black and pick up on black. And black, you need even less than you do when you, uh, than you think you do because black spreads like crazy. And the first time it came out a lot faster than the white. So I used too much, but black has a lot combination of all the pigments there so it always takes less black than you think you need just enough to wet the layers underneath there we go all right and once again I want to roll off my black on a baby wipe so it doesn't infect next layers and let's move that oh I'm gonna leave that together it's gonna have to be a double layer because it's to totally stuck Here's my black. I've got to uncurl it. <laughs> okay. Oh no, I want a new black because that black will hide my. Gee, what are you thinking? Eesh. Almost ruined that one. <clears throat> okay. Yep, the blue was dry. It was basically dry before I picked it up. You want the blue layer to be dry, but but usually by the time you do. Uh, the two poles, the blue is dry. It's iridescent, so it did it looked wet, but it was dry. And you do an extra long rub because what you want is you want this wet black layer. Hold on, my camera seems to have moved or something. Pardon me for the little ride there. Okay. Um, you want the black layer to actually dry onto the paper, and as it dries. It's going to pull up the dry blue layer along with it. Now this is also going to pick up some of the red probably that was under there since I did anything that I did since my last pull. 
So there's probably going to be some green and some blue. Some red. All right, now I'm just going to pull a corner and you should see a clean jelly plate. Yep. Oh, not quite. Hold on. Not quite. I may not. I may have let it the black dry a little too much. Let's see here. There we go. Yeah, I did. Okay. That's all right. So you can see some of the blue black. You can see some of the map, or I can anyway, there. There you can see some of the map coming through. You can see some of the green, some of the blue, and then you can see that the blue glow, the globes. So you can see lots of layers coming through there. Hey, hi we Sarah. I'm making some jelly prints because Carrie wanted me to, and then she's not even here. Well, I wanted to too, but. So. So that's my pull. Oh, Eileen, that is so funny. That is so cute. All right. That's the other side of that, so I'm just going to leave that. This one is ready for another pull on that side. All right. Now. Now I want to do one that has just some layers. Um, I'm going to get rid of the rest of this black. <clears throat> because I don't want to be pulling. This is the only time I clean my plate is if I have black here that I want to get rid of. That spot of black must have been thinner and it didn't dry. All right, so now, because I want to use my 3D stars as a top layer, so what I'm going to do is just do some texture layers, some circles, and then I will use my 3D pop stars there is. Okay. So let's just start with kind of a olive green. And let's do a... I kind of keep doing the same colors over and over, but... I don't know where my purples are. Where's my purples? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Where's my purple? Okay, so let's do purple. And red. And red. I don't even know if I have any red in that one. That might have to go in the garbage. Oh, there's a little bit. Maybe I should use it and get rid of it before I open a new one. Okay, so I'm using bright red and African violet. Now this African violet is Deco Art Crafters Acrylic from the dollar store. It's really pretty thin. Well, it sounds even thinner than it usually does. So I'm going to do just a mismatch this time. I don't know why my bubble wrap's way over there, but I can't reach it without getting up. And I'm too lazy to get up. So that's just the way she goes. Sometimes 
You get some interesting combos when you use craft paint. All right. So let's do some texture. <clears throat> Let me see what I got here. All right. I'm going to do this one. Now, this was a piece of packaging that I put through my square embossing folder. So I'm just going to add some texture with that. It holds much better than the fun foam. The, the embossing. Should be enough to grab that. When you get too much paint, you don't see as much texture. So you can see where you don't see the where you don't see the shapes as much. That's where the paint was a little too thick. adding to this one it's going to be a mismatch I'm going to have to just kind of cut little flowers out of it or make washi tape or something because it's going to be pretty darn ugly <laughs> okay that's what's all that that's all that's coming up off that one all right so I'm going to dry this because I want to do my pops up stars on this dish well I'm going to add some circles first take long with this crap paint for it to dry it's almost dry oh my gosh uh, sorry clean my hand break it's just too much to bear DD just for you but it's cleaning time what you're getting echo Jeannie am I echoing or is it just or is it just Jeannie hearing things? <laughs> so we back to work today Sarah uh, okay put that green back I was going to use green and then I changed my mind okay so now I need my I need my here because I want to put some black and white circles let me find my circle thingy makers first there's that one and I'll use the end of where'd it go my brush there so I'll do some solid circles and I'll do some rings 
All right, so I'm going to put the paint on here and then use it as a palette. Woo! See that the black is thinner than the white paint. I have to remember that. You know, I've got too much. Okay. Okay, I'm going to make black rings. To work kind of fast with this. <coughs> because paint will dry. Very quickly. And white. I'm going to make dots. Got to paint off and then and then onto the jelly. Okay. Now I'm going to take this one that I just did and I just poke my finger in that paint and get my circles and dots on here. Hey B3, nice to see you. Very cool. Yeah, some other people have been coming and going to keeps getting booted. I see that. But at least the video, knock on wood, for now is behaving because yesterday it wasn't at all. So that adds some dots and some rings. to use this 3D star pop-up and let's see if it works as well as my circles and my squares do. Okay, so excuse me, I need a paper chip for this next step. I do want a decent amount of paint this time, but I didn't want that much. All right. So here's my pop-up stars. You have to squint to see the stars. There we go. I want them this way. Okay. And now... Oh, darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. have dried my all my circles aren't dry okay so now let's 
see if I can get this to pop up into stars. other side on. Let's see how it turns out. I'm going to do the other side on that and see what happens. Yeah, I know. I don't even realize I'm doing it. I'm not doing it on purpose. I am not growling on purpose. Just in case you're wondering. I just like to vocalize my issues. instead of keeping it inside. A little over dramatic, I know, but. All right, so now I'm doing a little extra rubbing because I wanna make sure I'm getting that cardstock down in between those little. Uh, would've worked better if I didn't have the, huh? It did work. Would've worked better if I didn't have the black circles though. But you can see how it looks like the stars are popping up. I'm going to try it on another one that doesn't have the uh, black, black circles. I should have thought. But it turned out okay. Okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the reverse on here and see what happens because this is just plain and it's going to add a lot of, but it, it, sh it should have the, <sighs> let's just get rid of this on my, this will tone down some of this yuckiness that's on this piece of paper. Oh, yeah, nice jean. Oh. stencils that have little spots like this if I just use the brayer it doesn't get down in those sections as nicely as if I use my fingers so that's why I always use my fingers so it's up to you it's not right or wrong there's no right or wrong so gosh very big blob of black right on my hand right after I get it sort of clean all right here we go let's reveal let's see what this one ended up looking like oh that's right I forgot b3 move I'm sorry I didn't ask kind of interesting texture on that shiny stuff coming through All right, let's see what this looks like. Let's see if I messed up a perfectly good... No, not bad. But stars don't show up. Well, they do a little bit, but they're misshapen. But that's okay. It'll get used. <clears throat> All right, I want to do one more with that 3D stars to see if I can get it to work better, even, even better. Oh, I know what I'm going to do this time. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have a good idea. I think, I think it's 
a good idea. Mm -hmm. All right. I've got it on my arm, too. Yeesh. Okay. All right. This time, instead of using black on that stencil to pop up, I'm going to use white. <laughs> yeah, I don't, well, I don't dislike it either. I just don't see any point in Halloween, I guess. All right. So, I need another color combo. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use some gold and copper. Let's see. Gold and copper. Hmm. Hold on, I'm going to grab another black piece of paper because I don't want to waste this lovely copper. blending. Okay. All right. And let's do a little wee bit of texture. Grab the texture here. What do we got? So I should have picked it out first. All right, I'm just going to do the striped. It'll kind of look like metal, maybe. And he stamped off on that. Yep. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> Just a subtle texture there. Alright. Now I'm simply going to use this white which got all messed up by my texture plate there darn it and i'm going to use the other side of this ring i'm just going to i'm only going to add white rings this time if i have any white paint left that i do
<laughs> my only problem with my keyboards is me. <laughs> I like my Apple keyboard. Okay. So that just gives me a little bit of extra texture on that. And I'm going to dry it. I'm going to see if I can pick up the rest of this with my deli paper because a thinner paper will do more detailed pickup here because it sticks better to the plate. Okay. <clears throat> Let me do a little drying here. I'm going to try my 3D stars again on this. Okay, so now I've got some black left here. I'm going to try and pick it up off my palette. Probably have more than enough to do this. quickly because it's drying okay so with this star one Sarah especially one with this smaller holes I always go down in with my make sure my fingers get the paper down into that stencil They're very nice. They're PBOs. I ordered more of those on the weekend. I ordered two silver because I'm completely out of silver. There we go. So now, see that, that looks better with the pop. See now, can you see the stars popping? Can you see it looking like popping 3D stars? Isn't that cool? Wait to see if you guys can see it or not. Oh, here comes me hoodie. a real leg because no one's commenting at all yet that they can see that hmm see there's a star see the stars but that's okay <laughs> you thought it was Pokemon faces oh no <laughs> okay um <clears throat> well all right let's do something on the other side of that one um
<sighs> well. <sighs> See, the stars. I was going to do white that time, wasn't I? Dang it. Oh, well, whatever. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's do... All right, I've got an idea for my next one. <clears throat> Eileen, funny Martian stars. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Anyway, it's not as obvious as when I do the circles. Those circles really look like Lego. And the squares are pretty decent, too. I'll do the square one on the next one. And you'll be able to see it better. Okay, so... Alright, so my idea is... Okay, to start with yellow. Start with yellow. Oh shoot, I forgot to do my prayer on baby white for the black. Hold on. An awful lot, getting an awful lot of black baby white. interesting the black paint on the brayer and then cleaning off the baby wipe seems to be cleaning the brayer an awful lot better than just the baby wipe itself all right so I'm gonna start with yellow here oh well let's clean it off first but it's a uh, yeah dark yellow called it's kind of like a goldenrod yellow I guess maybe well not quite that orange but kind of a orangey. Need a little more. Want a good color base here. Oh, I get a little texture going here on my brayer. Yeah. See if you have any little pieces of anything it adds texture to your paint. Oh, well, that's okay. I guess I want that anyway, don't I? And then I know what, hold on, I know exactly which texture I want here. Where'd it go? Uh-oh, where'd it go? There it is, the orange one. So this is kind of just like rough, almost like a carpet sort of texture. So there's that. up a little black that didn't get cleaned off there. Now I want to add another layer to this so I'm actually going to just quickly use the heat gun here to dry it. It's almost dry already but just so I don't end up transferring it back onto the plate because if you So now I'm going to take this kind of cobblestone effect here. And I'm going 
to use. Oh, I wish I had a better. Oh, wait, now there it is. So I'm going to use this terracotta. Yep, lots of fun tonight, Cheryl. probably tell where I'm going with this. Okay. Whoops. Ugh. When that paper gets too wet, your brayer sticks to it. It doesn't take paint very well. So now I'm going to go back with that same texture through the stencil this time. Take the stencil off. Uh, I went, see, I had too much paint, so I didn't get a very accurate stencil there. Oh, well. <clears throat> Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you so much. Lots of fun. I enjoy making them as much as I do enjoy using them. I love designing stuff. So I got that on the back of that one. All right, a little bit of leftover through there. I can probably, oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Let's clean it off a little better. Take a baby wipe and let's see if I can, it's tough cause it's too, I have to be very gentle with this kind cause the lines are very thin. in one direction try not to get any corners and bend your stencil there we go can't remember what you stream I saw that on but anyway there you go so your stencil's a little cleaner and you've used that paint. All right, so let's see. Okay, unfortunately I had a little bit too much paint so it went under the stencil there, but anyway. anything on that side of the black. I don't know if that's going to pick up or not. <clears throat> yeah, I picked up a little bit. start acting up I'm gonna go because if it starts acting like last night 
it's not much point. <clears throat> okay, I guess some people are getting me back. All right, what other stencils do I have here to use? I've got a couple more, and then I'm gonna, I gotta grab something to eat. Because other than chips, I haven't. Okay, so I want to do one using this 3D stencil. My squares, they'll show pop a little better than. Okay, so, and I'm going to use this. All right, so let's do one more page here. One more page. Um, let's use, let's see what I've got in here. Oh yeah, okay, I've got some pretty stuff in here. All right, so let's do Island of Blue. That looks like it's totally separated. Hold on. Okay, turquoise. Okay, let's do some blues. Dark blue. Turquoise. Oh, I found something I've been looking for. Oh, alrighty. Woohoo. My second set of keys. need a lighter blue. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. So let's try these three blues. So I'm going to start with dark on the bottom. Uh, turquoise in the middle. Uh oh, I've got a turquoise somewhere open. Yeah. <clears throat> And light blue. All right, Mr. Brayer, how are you going to work for me? Oh, your mom is fine. Oh good, I'm so glad your mom's good. All right, I'm just gonna do this one more page and then I'm going, because obviously Ustream's starting to act up. So. my ombre and I'm going to use get rid of that paint that got smeared all over that oh this one's kind of testy this little guy so I'm gonna have to pull him flat like this there we go so what do I have to put it on um ooh, I had something I thought Hello. I thought I had one that needed something on the back. Oh no, come here. Come here. Oh no. Uh, I thought I had something ready. Oh no. Uh oh. There. Oh, there's one. Okay. Phew. Got a lot of paint, so I'm gonna have to be very careful here because it doesn't smear on us. <sighs> I 
Right, so that's the bottom and I need to know that because I'm going to flip it next time. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want to put this at the bottom, but I want to dry this a smidgen. Whoa. Hopefully the, I should have left the uh, stencil on there because then it would have. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to see what's going to happen. I'm going to put the light down on the bottom and the dark up on the top. And just use the same side because I want a mostly solid. Susan. Thank you for coming. This is my favorite one of the day, I think. I love this one. Oh, <laughs> I left it down a little while, so I picked up some of the, I picked up some of the uh, orange there too. That's cool. Alrighty. Oh, and I meant to put this down. No, I didn't. Uh, let's put it down on this. See if anything will come off. It should get a little bit off there. layer on that <sighs> let's do a pickup before I do a layer um, I think I'll just use white so I'm not sure what I've got down there to pick up so I'm just gonna use a white layer of white well a little bit more than that Jean I'm going from not enough, much, not uh, too much to not enough. That would have been plenty of black, but not of white. Okay, let's see what I've got to pick up here. layer to do but I thought I want to do a pickup before I put black on here. Ugh, my hands. Oh, thank you, Carol. So, poor Brenda B3 is getting booted all around. You stream. didn't work very well picked up a little bit but I didn't even have much white maybe I didn't maybe it dried too quickly okay I need to try another pickup here cuz I can't leave all that white there I'm gonna have to move faster 
got my white ready this time though. This is new paint to me, so I don't know how, I don't know it yet. It did pick up stuff, so I'll try stuff. I'll try it out, see what happens. Oh, I have an idea what I'm going to do with that. I have an idea. Mm, I can see your streams being bad. There we go. Well, it's still not, uh -huh. I'm not liking how that white picks up or doesn't pick up. But it still, it picked up a lot, but it le still left a lot of white behind. I guess that's where there wasn't any paint. So that's kind of a cool pickup. Hmm, very cool. Now I'm going to dry this because I'm going to use this for my opposite of my other one there. Cool texture there. Very cool. I like that. Oh, actually, I, you know what? I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to leave that one like it is. I'm going to use the other one, the first one I did. And I'm just going to wipe this clean. Okay. Oh, I, you know what? I know why. I know why my ink sometimes is that my paint's not staying on there because I'm, because it's wet. Gee, silly girl. Silly girl. Oh, I meant to show what Lisa, I'll have to do it at the end, at the very end, what Lisa sent me. I've got it sitting right there on my desk behind me and everything. There, that should work. Okay, so a little black. And I've got my Okay, this is not a pickup, so I'm gonna get my stencil on it right away. Uh, get that paper out of my way. Not been popping that way. Okay, and this. Okay. <laughs> forward to seeing it when the leg catches up. <laughs> oh dear. I almost want to take this and cut around it, leaving 
just a little bit of the copper around the outside and use it as a oh I like that so much I love that love it love it love it okay oh I was gonna say what had happened but I picked up the stencil right along with it uh, there we go now can you guys see the 3d effect on that although I know you're getting black screens Thank you. 